the way, brothers and sisters. Kolo is never Ethiopian, but Selassie is not the way. Islam is not the way. Modern day Christianity is not the way, brothers and sisters. It's about keeping the most high God commandment.
From deep inside Africa, a sound is emanating that is causing reverberations around the world. It's the sound of Judaism. A sound of a people casting off two centuries of colonialism, returning to what they say are their native roots. I know from birth I'm a Jew. Only I know that my forefather missed the way. I grew up alongside every other Igbo youth. We kept on hearing that Igbo people came from Israel. There was a story my mom told me at the age of six years. I never forget. He said, the Igbos are Jews. And it's a story of one man, Shmuel, who went searching for what that meant and found answers on the internet prompting a journey that led him to a community of thousands of Jews. A place where resources are few, but commitment transcends. Through prayer, practice, ritual, diet, and song. But this is also the sound of doubt from Jews in America. They would ask me, are you from America? Or I would say, no, I'm a Nigerian. They say, you black. I say, yes. They say, no, it's not true. And rejection from family and friends. I am like an outcast among them. And in this volatile Christian Muslim nation, doubt often turns to violence. This is the story of the Igbo, 25 million strong, a people once under siege by their very own government. Biafra declared its independence. And a people once captured and shipped across the Atlantic by the hundreds of thousands. A people who helped build America, and a people whose descendants are now discovering their Igbo roots raising questions of cultural identity for countless African Americans. Many African Americans actually do not know that they have Igbo heritage. The chances of their being Igbo is much, much higher than their chances of coming from Ghana or from Western Nigeria. If you're from the right county in Virginia, you probably have a 60% chance of having Igbo ancestry. It's a story of the strength of belief, ancestry, and community. Boosted by a visitor who inspires everyone and helps take Shemuel's dreams to a whole new reality. The Jews of Nigeria are re-emerging. waking up to Torah and returning to their roots, yeah. but they took it away from us in slavery. Yeah. Can you give us some words of encouragement for black Americans who are returning to Torah? Yes. I hope, I hope God has really blessed the blacks because the Torah was for us, but they took it away from us. And now that we have learned, we see that the Torah is for us. We all people should be encouraged to go back and take the Torah so that our people will not take it from us because it is our culture, it is our thing that our ancestors were given. So we, I encourage every black American to get out to know the Torah that the Torah was given to them because Jacob was a black, he was not a white. So I urge everyone who has read it going to study the Torah that he, the, he will have courage and have the ability to come out with the Torah so that God will let him bless us, God will let us know our destiny in this way. And we pray that everybody who has take this opportunity will be, will find the fruitful, he will bless his people and Adonai will also help him. Amen. Just half naked and start whining on people and, and, and try to 
There is many records. There is many records. There is Hebrew in West Africa to show you what it really is. There is Babylon in Timbuktu. Or they don't know all their heritage. Or they don't know all their history. Right? We are walking slaves in China today, we still. You can imagine this. Or they paid a woman called Minister of Culture to teach a little carnival. What I was just 150 years ago? What you was doing before you came across here? Nobody wanna talk about that. That don't matter no more. But let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. It's no matter to the most high God. Because our forefathers pray the commandments of the most high God. It's why we in this condition. That's why there's so much a crime. That's why we depopulated us. And why don't you understand the depopulation program behind us? Do you understand the medication in these pharmacies? It's the killers. The vaccination is the dumbest of our children. That's why that was the similar assignment in all these things. We are on that thing.